Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And if you look at my e-bike uh, uh, indicator there, uh, you can see I have two bars left on my battery. And uh, I was planning on going for a morning ride. I've been going for morning ride now for quite a while because it helps my uh, it helps to relieve the pain that comes with the sciatic nerve issues. So I do it every morning and I don't work hard at it. I just kind of do a relaxing ride. And uh, so this morning uh, I thought maybe I should uh, charge the, the battery up and then go tomorrow. And I thought, no, I want to go today. And there's the manual. You can see that uh, it, it's on almost on empty. And then the pedal assist, uh, I set that, it, it goes from one to five, but I set it at one so that I don't go really fast. I just uh, uh, go eight, 10 miles an hour and I, I have to work harder on pedal assist one. So it's good for, it's good exercise. So I decided, okay, <clears throat> I'll just ride around our little uh, block, which is exactly one mile. And I'll check and see if uh, I still have two bars or if it's, uh, if it's low, and then uh, I might have to forget going for a ride. So while I do that, I'm going to tell you another one of my stories of when I was growing up. <clears throat> and in the last, story, in the last uh, video that I told my story, <clears throat> we had moved into a house uh, right almost downtown Seattle. It was like a 20-minute walk from downtown. <clears throat> and uh, when I got into junior high, then I could get a paper route with the Seattle Times newspaper. And back then, uh, uh, they had pa they had young young boys uh, deliver papers on different routes, and they would give you uh, it's kind of was a canvas uh, thing that you could put your ba your papers in and walk around the neighborhood. And uh, here I am coming around after going around the block, and so we're going to check and see if I still got two bars. And if I do, well then I know I've got still a pretty good uh, battery with uh, on pedal assist one. And sure enough, I still have two bars. So I'm going to go ahead and go for my ride that I usually plan on going on. So <clears throat> anyway, they uh, they gave you that, and then you'd load it up with your papers and walk around your neighborhood route and uh, deliver papers. Well, <clears throat> I got a, I had a nice route. I got a nice route, and uh, I uh, delivered papers, and everything was fine. And then for some reason, probably because my parents were going to be gone on vacation for quite a while or something, uh, and you can't be gone when you deliver papers, so um, I, I, <clears throat> I quit that route. And then uh, when everything was settled and I got back, I, could, I uh, wanted another paper route. Well, the, the, the boy that had it before I did, uh, they basically fired him because he wasn't delivering papers like he should. He wasn't dependable, and uh, so I got the job. And that was nice, except that it was kind of in a slum neighborhood. I mean, not kind of, it was a slum neighborhood. I mean, it was so bad <clears throat> that, uh, uh, you know, Sunday mornings, we, d we, we delivered, delivered the paper in the afternoon, except on Sunday. On Sunday, we delivered them early in the morning. And so <clears throat> uh, it was interesting because I would, uh, uh, be uh, it'd be you know Sunday morning after Saturday night, and there would be all kinds of uh, results of over drinking. This one time, this guy I heard these the, the car coming, and the tire was rubbing against the fender, and so I got my my little wagon out of the middle of the street, <laughs> and he came by, and then I guess he wanted to park somewhere, and uh, he knew where he was enough, uh, and so he pulled in, and he first uh, as he stopped. He rear-ended the car that was parked in front of him. So that was interesting. <laughs> and another time I remember I was coming down the street and there was a guy uh, knocking on the door of his house, the front door, saying, sweetheart, please let me in. Honey, I'm sorry, please let me in. <laughs> so he, she had locked the door, kept him out. Anyway, that's the kind of neighborhood it was. And then I, I uh, on Sunday morning, the papers were pretty thick and it was pretty pretty uh, heavy load so I made myself a little three-wheeled uh, cart uh, using roller skate wheels and I had two uh, two two wheels in the front and then a little steering uh, swivel wheel in the back 
and then I only had three sides on the on the uh, cart because How are you that guys way I could morning. just pull pull the paper out as I was going along. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, uh, one morning I had to go downhill to get uh, get to my paper route. I had the had my cart all full of papers, and I'm going down the hill, and I thought, well, I'm just going to give it a little push, and then it'll go on its own. And that was a mistake because. With the steerage in the back, it's just like a tail dragger airplane or a, a shopping cart. It wants to turn around if you have the steering in the back. So there went all my papers uh, all the way down the street. And, uh, oh, here I am. This is where I enter the, I, I just normally go around this, uh, all the way around the uh, outside uh, rim there of that little <clears throat> circle. By the time I get home, I've gone about four and a half miles. So uh, that's what my plan is as I uh, enter on that street right there. So anyway, uh-oh, as I get there, you'll notice that uh, I've got one bar left. I'm thinking, I don't know if I can go four and a half miles or three and a half miles, whatever it is. So I decided, okay, I'm going to just head up this direction and turn off here and go back home on the canal road. So that was my plan to save myself because one other time I got down to one bar and uh, it was flashing on and off by the time I got home and yeah, you can pedal the the e-bike without anything but boy it's hard so anyway now I'm headed uh, back home <laughs> as easily as possible so <clears throat> anyway uh, and then uh, so I got rid of that route and I was fortunate enough to get a paper route uh, that I lived on. The route uh, that I got was the one I lived on. And that was very nice because I was able to, uh, you know, I didn't have to, I just have to walk down the alley to the where they delivered the papers or where they put them out for you. And uh, <clears throat> so then I would, uh, I, and I made myself a new cart. It was four wheels and I, I designed a little uh, steerage thing where I, I had a bar on the right side, and if I pushed it forward, it turned right, and if I pulled it back, it turned left. So then, and I had it, it was all four sides, and the, the left side had a door in it so that uh, if it was raining, my papers wouldn't get wet. And then on really rainy mornings, and it rains a lot in Seattle, <clears throat> I could actually crawl inside of there and curl up while I waited for the truck to come with the papers early Sunday morning and so uh, that was uh, and then I, I even put some I mounted some uh, little holders for candles and I put candles in there so I had some light and some heat and uh, that that was a neat paper out I had that pa paper out until uh, my folks moved out of that house and moved down to the Seattle Tacoma Airport where my dad was working so Anyway, uh, I had lots of experiences. I might have to tell you more experiences that I had on my uh, on my paper route because I had it for quite a while, and uh, I had it, it was just a fun thing, and I enjoyed making the money. Oh, by the way, I got to tell you how I made money too. <laughs> so it looks like I'm running out of time because I did make it home, and I'm praising the Lord because uh, it was no it would be no fun to pedal that without the pedal assist even though uh, I'm using just uh, one the number one le low level so <clears throat> as we come around the corner as always I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless